Lithium. Yes, the lithium in the periodic table and the satanic eyes of the Duracell bunny. But as a drug for humans, lithium's got a bit of a bad rap. In the 1950s, scientists discovered that lithium helps treat mood disorders like depression, and it became widely used in the 60s and 70s. The problem was the recommended doses of lithium at the time were way higher than they needed to be, so many patients had all kinds of bad side effects, hence the bad rap. Ah, the 60s, not such a great time for mental health care in America. But decades of research now indicate that lithium may actually be a good guy after all. Call it the Danny Zuko of drugs. I'm sorry, I don't have a more modern pop culture reference. Look, I'm not gonna bore you with all the studies that show this, but here's just one. In a meta-analysis, now meta-analysis are often considered the gold standard of scientific studies. Quick side note, for more intel on how to better understand scientific studies, check out this link up here. Anyway, a meta-analysis of 11 lithium studies over dozens of years found an association between lithium in the drinking water and lower rates of suicide, homicide, mortality, and crime. So basically, if you've got high levels of lithium in your drinking water, you're less likely to kill yourself. It's like having lithium in your water is the same as having Batman in your neighborhood. The whole neighborhood becomes a lot safer and a lot happier. The body of science that we do have is suggesting that right now we could be sitting on a cheap, effective way of lowering suicide rates and making entire communities healthier. If lithium is able to lower depression, lower suicide rates, decrease homicide, crime and death, why isn't everyone researching lithium? Well, three reasons. Pharma companies aren't interested. It's a generic drug, so they can't trademark it or make any money off it. Secondly, it's difficult to market lithium directly to consumers because of all that bad PR in the past. And thirdly, there's not many researchers or funding bodies who want to award money to study lithium. It's been used since the 1950s, so it's not that sexy. Now, look, I may seem very pro-lithium, but don't worry, I'm just pro-science. You're not going to catch me tainting the water supply with lithium anytime soon. Although now that I mention it, we do add fluoride to our drinking water, we add iodine to salt, we add vitamins to our cereal. We add all of those things because they make the entire community healthier. So I want to see a lot more investment in researching lithium in drinking water. If adding lithium to our drinking water could save thousands of lives, it's definitely worth looking into. But what do you guys think? If lithium turns out to be as good as we think, should we add it to our water supply? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.